Hi guys and welcome to a new DLC that is coming out on the 14th of February. It is a Coon DLC download only. It is 14.99 European Euro. Uh, the equipment which is a cultivator, another cultivator, well four cultivators, Four sewing machines, three spray, three sprayers, one fertilizer spreader, a mower, a tedder, a windrower, a wrapper, and two balers. So I'll go through the details um, now on the on the top cultivator. Required power is 130 uh, horsepower, and the working width is 14 meters. Uh, it looks very good cultivator. I think you would have that on a cedar, so you as, as you going through, you can cultivate it and seed it at the same time. This one, which is 30 uh, horsepower less then the other one and it's the same width for uh, four meters then you've got this the Kuhn Proforma 4000 which is 240 horsepower and the same working width um, now this one is 220 horsepower but it's six meters, so it's an extra two meters wider. So I can't wait to be using them. Then we're on to the sewing machines now. So required power is 110 horsepower. Working width is three meters, and capacity is 2,500 liters. Um, 1,500 litres is this one, the TF 1,500 sewing machine. Um, this one only requires 100 uh, horsepower and working width is 4 metres. Required power is 100 and, well 100 horsepower, um, working width is 4.4 well 5.4 meters and the capacity is 1204 liters can't wait to be using them uh, sewing machines now we get on to the sprayer the Kuhn P5, PF 1500 sprayer I think this is your uh, it goes on your front of your tractor which okay, holds up to 1,500 litres. Then you've got the one that goes on the back, which is working width is 21 metres, one, and capacity is 1,300 uh, well, litres. Then we've got the big sprayer, um, which is a 36 metres and 4,100 litres. Now we've got the fertilized sprayer, spreader amount, um, which is 24 meters and 300 and uh, 3,200 liters. Now we come on to the mower, which only requires 80 horsepower. The working width is 4.3 meters. Then we've got a tether, uh, the Coon, the Coon GF 87.2. This is tether. Uh, requires 40 horsepower. Working working width is 8.7 meters. Then we've got the wind rower. Uh, which requires 140 horsepower 
working width is 9.1 meters um, then we've got the wrapper which there is no details on it um, but to me I would say it requires about um, 120 horsepower so a fast track or something uh, then we've got the square baler which only requires eight, uh, 185 horsepower then we've got the round baler well finishing off we've got the round baler uh, requires 140 horsepower I hope you enjoyed the video quick update on the DLC that's coming out on the 14th the 14th of February you can now pre-order it on Farming Simulator's website um, it's only 1499 um, so and there's some there's a cedar on a fent there's the round baler round ba two round balers with wrap wraps on them so you're not after going with the another tractor you're doing it all in one go which I think that's a very good uh, design how Kuhn have done it then you've got the square wrapper for silage so, or haylage so you're not having just open bales then you've got the um, cultivator um, the cedar and then the cedar hopper on the front which is the uh, Deutsch Fario very good tractor and looks very good machine a uh, good hopper and everything else that's on the back looks very good can't wait to be trying that then we've got a Deutsch Ferrier on a Kuhn LSB uh, 1290D which is square baler and then you've got in the background a cultivator which if I am correct is on a Massey Ferguson um, and then we've got all the machine all the uh, things that are in the DLC just in this photo so I will be doing updates when uh, they come out and I will be doing um, when the DLC comes out I will be doing a review on it just a quick up just a quick update to tell you about it and where you can get it from thanks for watching please like subscribe and share until next time thanks for watching goodbye